will show you one simple dress cutting but two designs. These are the measurements. You can change them as per your body measurements. First we do front and back cutting of the dress. Total fabric you will need about 2 meter depending on the length that you want. Length can be more or less. I'm taking two different fabrics. The front one is satin and the back. This also you can take about one and a half meter or two meter and uh, the back one is blended synthetic. So this one first we cut the back part using the simple Kurti or top cutting method. The fabric I'm using is from the scrap. So I'm using it width wise. But ideally we use the fabric length wise. Because this fabric is width wise. That's why I'll add half inch more for the width. Note down the shoulder 7.5 inch, arm length 7.5 inch, waist length 14.5, hip length 21.5. If you are keeping it a short dress then you can keep the length till hip or slightly more than waist. Now extend these markings. Chest line, the formulas I have mentioned, the shoulder and or the chest line mark half inch lesser than the shoulder, then waistline. You can stop the video, note down the formulas and as per the calculation, you can measure your mark, your Dress. Join the markings. And from the bottom, make it slightly curvy. Neck width would be 3 or 3.5 three inch. Neck length 3 inch. Give it a shape. You can keep it more. The neck. Width and length you can keep more. Armhole 1 inch down for the shoulder slope. Armhole from the side give a little curve. Keeping 1 inch out mark for the losing the extra fabric. Now cut on the outer lines. This is the folded side and we don't cut on the folded side. We cut only on the outer open sides. Cut till the end. From the bottom you can keep one inch and accordingly make the marking and cut. This is the back and now we cut the front. Here you pay a little attention. I folded it biased or half. This way it becomes kind of a triangle and it will give you a, an umbrella or semi-circle kind of a look. After cutting for an umbrella skirt also we keep the fabric this way now we keep the back of our dress on this notice on the folded side I kept about two inch extra the folded fabric now either you use a chalk 
make markings of the outer line of the dress or simply if you have control over the scissors and your hands then simply cut around this dress. You can pin this dress pattern on your fabric and then also cut because satin is slippery fabric. Now we need to cut the front slightly more. So we can keep it till one inch more deeper or maybe two inch more. So you can keep it as per your liking and the armhole also you keep. Now the placing. When we place this, see this is important part because uh, see when we place, you noticed that for the front, the fabric we have taken is more than the back. Right? So of course, and secondly, it is cut like an umbrella or semi-umbrella or circular dress. So there is fabric on the side which can be used for the gathers. Okay, here we have two ideas. One is either you cut front like the top and the bottom side of this dress separately. But what is shown on this picture or this image from this side, from one side, you can make a cut, long cut and there you can add one cordet or one kali. I will show, I will give one link in the description box. Now we cut the small uh, sleeves. For the sleeves, mark same as your armhole length that is seven and a half plus one inch more for the side seams and three inch inside keeping one inch from top mark this way and sleeves actually i've mentioned i've shown many times so if you need any doubt, clearing or any details, you can ask me in the comment section. I will uh, explain. Okay. So we simply cut it, mark it and cut it. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. Don't shy of asking me. Now cut the outline. Open. These sleeves are very short, about 4 inch. So you can keep sleeves long or short or no sleeves at all if you are not keeping sleeves then you can use a bias tape to finish the arm cold. Now we do the stitching. For the stitching thing first join the shoulders from the back side of course. After joining the shoulders I am using one dory piping to finish the neckline okay and i will give you all the links in the description box you can check it there because if i show everything here then the video would be super long and difficult to understand right so on top of the shoulders i like making a top stitch but this is optional now the neck if you feel even at this stage you put the this neck this hole of your head into this neckline and see if it is shorter then make sure that you make it bigger how would you make it bigger simply fold it mark one inch more or half inch more depending on how short the neck line is and then cut it 
Now, if you open this way, the front neck, if front neck is smaller, the shape may be different this way. Either you can keep this shape or give it the shape of your liking. See, I decided to show you all the mistakes, everything, so that whenever you are doing anything, you could also be rectifying. Right? Here, I finished the neckline with the this, uh, this uh, dori piping and the link would be in the description box. Now we have the sleeves. When the sleeves are of the same color, make sure you mark them right or wrong side so that it is easier to identify. Now we fold the bottoms of the sleeve. It is kind of a simpler thing. So I show you quickly not to consume too much of your time and you can uh, you know you can use dory piping for this sleeve bottom also you can uh, use you can make same color or satin sleeves or umbrella sleeves whatever type of sleeve you want to make there are latest designs on uh, stitching on latest design page okay you can check that now that also link i'll give in the description now simply keep the this sleeve deeper side in the front and the other side towards the back place it around the armhole and stitch if you cut it right there is no reason why the sleeve would be short but if it is you can click a picture and send me on stitching on facebook page and i will definitely let you know what you can do to correct your dress or correct the armhole or sleeve cutting or stitching right even if a dress is not done right there are many ways how you can set it right. Don't worry. So, we stitched this sleeve also till the end. Just because, you know, there are fears that uh, what will, how things would be and in case there would be a mistake and all. But, you know, still we should do things right not to be afraid of mistakes and now we have the this fabric I, I had about one and a half inch wide fabric this is in bias but you can take even the long straight fabric you can fold it and this one will be using to make front belt okay see there are many ways how you can make this kind of a belt maybe around your waistline but here I'll be making only towards the front side because on the front side we got more fabric than on the back because you remember we kept extra fabric towards the front side remember okay now this is the satin thing so it moves it is slippery so one thing is you can uh, either use a you know press press it right and then use pins or do a kacha thing and then make a long stitch it can be wide a broad belt or a sleek slightly smaller a tiny one as you like the other one the other fabric also See, I cut these two pieces by stays for the neckline because I use the other thing, the dory piping for the neckline. I'm using this fabric for the belt. So here, cut the ends. This is also optional just to keep things tidy and, you know, beautiful, nice, easy to manage. It looks good, right? And now in my kids box, 
I got these two loops. In fact, it's part of a game. But if you have some bangle or earrings or uh, those loops, handle loops of those uh, bags or clutches, maybe you can uh, use even those kind of a thing, right? So here you can, because it comes out, I can perhaps uh, make a knot. And this way I'll be making, fixing both the ends with the loops. And here you can use a pin so it doesn't move at the time of stitching or joining. It is done. Now here when you make belt of or loops this kind of a belt then you can keep it single one like the four loops the way I done it or two loops or the way you want it or maybe no loops at all just simply hook one end of the this ribbon from the other end as long as you can think different ways, you can do it and make it. Now, this is our dress on the waistline. Fold it. And on the waistline, if you didn't make a nice prominent cut, then make it. This time, we made it. And here we have our veil. We start stitching from the sleeve, the sides of the sleeves, the six inch or five and a half inch, or if you want to keep it loose, the sides of the sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve you want to keep loose, simply keep one inch from the side and make a side stitch. Now once you reach towards the waistline, keep one end of the belt or your ribbon inside on this notch which is a cut and on this cut keeping this ribbon we make multiple stitches so it doesn't come out while we wear it every day right and now till the bottom it is simple long stitch nothing very fancy about it anyways in any dress there should be one focal point which is one attractive point and uh, rest of the dress you can make like a simple dress the other side of the dress also we start from the sleeve end the bottom of the sleeve and stitch in the waistline keep the Keep our belt or the ribbon. The open-ended one. And till the bottom, we make a simple long stitch. See, in this uh, design, in this video, I have uh, shown you that got it or Kali style thing design also, right? So, for that thing, I'll share one link in the description. You can check that to make exactly that yellow dress. And once you make it, do share with me. I'm sure you'll be able to make it. Now we come to the bottom. Here you can either do the row hem or simply fold it slightly and then make a stitch. A small portion at a time because this is satin is a slippery fabric. If you are using cotton or any sturdy fabric that's good enough for the first time then you won't have to worry much but if your fabric is slippery take it care now these are the two designs 
and do let me know how do you like this video take care goodbye